All right. How's it going, everybody? Um, this is our last uh, week eight discussion, so it's been a pleasure uh, hearing from you guys and, and sharing some of my thoughts with you. So thanks for for listening. Um, going to try to look at this problem from nine two uh, in applied discrete structures. Uh, where we've got uh, six corrected graphs, and these are their adjacency matrices. Um, and we're told to figure out which ones are isomorphic to one another. Um, and the definition <coughs> to, uh, to kind of paraphrase the, the math symbols of the definition, I, uh, I take it to be um, graphs that are going to have the same number of edges and vertices, uh, and that their connections are more or less going to match each other. Um, so we've, we've got the same number of vertices, edges, the, and the connections, while they may not specifically match the same numbered vertices, the structures of the graphs are still going to be the same as each other. Um, and we can see that with the adjacency matrix for graph one, um, that's going to give us essentially. I'm trying to use a tool here. Well, we got one. No, no. Let's use the pen. There we go. We got one going to two, two to three, Oops. and three to four, four to five. And then we've got five going to one. And we can pretty quickly look at all the other adjacency matrices and see that that same pattern uh, is not going to occur. So uh, while I believe uh, all the matrices are isomorphic to themselves, although I'm not exactly sure what the meaning of that is. Um, but uh, there are no other graphs that that one is going to be isomorphic to. So let's go ahead and if I can quickly undo the zeros there. All right. So uh, looking at the adjacency matrices for two and four, we see a similar pattern, um, I see that in row four uh, of graph two, I've got four ones. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and make a quick sketch of what graph two is going to look like. Um, I've got four going to one, four to two. Four to three and four to five. And we see that in the second row, we've got a one in our third column, meaning that two goes to three. So maybe using this other cluster of uh, vertices down here to the right, I can see that in my adjacency matrix for graph four, that we should already maybe be suspecting that those are going to be the same. Um, so I've got graph one going to two, one going to three, one going to four, and one going to five. And we've also got four going to three. So comparing that to the first, oh man, this is, you gotta clean that up a little, you know. There we go. Comparing that to the first graph we made, uh, the structures of those are the same. Um, there's that on a closed circuit of triangles and then um, another 
two vertices that are branching off of one of that, and we have the same kind of structure in both of those graphs. So graph two is isomorphic to graph four. And let's just clean all of this up. We'll look at three, five, and six. I see uh, with graph three, we've got Two going to one. There we go. Two going to one. Uh, and two going to five. Also got three going to two. And three going. Right, so we've got <clears throat> in JC matrix for graph three, we've got two going to one and two going to five, and we've also got three going to two. We've got four going to three and five going to three. So again, I see that I've got kind of like a triangular circuit, uh, and then um, our other two vertices outside of that circuit uh, are going in different directions. So we'll see if we repeat that structure for graphs five and six now. So let's do five over here. I've got one going to five. Three going to two. Oops. Three going to four. We've got four going to five. And we've got five going to three. So there's our triangular circuit. Um, and then my other two vertices are going in opposite directions. So I would say that those two graphs are isomorphic to each other. Let's take a look at six. Do that one over here. I've got one going to four. Three going to one. And hopefully we've got a four going to three. Oh, look at that. All right, kind of went out of order there. I got excited. Uh, looking at the third row, I've got three going to two as well. And then we see in the fifth row, we've got five going to four. So turns out that graphs three, five, and six are isomorphic to each other and graphs two and four. As we saw earlier, we're isomorphic to each other. Uh, thanks for watching, and take care, everybody.